भगवान की योगी राम किरत कुमार की with deep gratitude we have offered the nama flowers at the lotus feet of bhagwan every day we have been having a glimpse of the glory of the name of bhagwan how it works in different circumstances in different devotees lives often times in sanat district we would hear bhagwan say that Swami Ramdas was giving only Ram Nam to the devotees, but you see this beggar. This beggar is giving his name, and then he would say, "Have you not heard of Hiranya Kashipu, the Rakshas? He gave his name to everybody." the whole kingdom everybody had to chant only his name you see this beggar is like hiranyakashipu how did he get this courage to give his name and then he would say oh it is my father my supreme father was made a pact with this beggar he has assured me that if anybody should call out this beggar's name he would rush help immediately to those people so you see it is my father who would help people at the call of this beggar's name then he said this name yogi ram sarat kuma is not this beggar's name do not think that yogi ram sarat kuma is only from this head to foot this form the name yogi ram sarat kuma is the name of the supreme father he said sometimes if 1 lakh people 1 million people should chant this beggar's name at different places father would send help to all those 1 lakh 1 million people simultaneously there is no question of this beggar going there in his physical form but if anybody should believe that this beggar is not limited to this body that he is all pervasive all knowing all powerful he is the supreme father then this beggar would go there to help if you think this beggar is nataraja chidambara then he will be so to those people who think so so he went on mentioning the names of the deities in different places like madhuri binakshi rameshwar 
and a few other places. And then I've heard Bhagwan say, sometimes some scientists or some foreigner would visit him and then Bhagwan would get up and go inside. We would be already chanting his name. Some of those foreigners would ask me also, how is it you are saying this, his name? Then I would go on to explain to them. Just as they would finish it, Bhagwan would come out to the veranda, sit there. So one day he said to those people who asked me, you see, you people are all scientists, you take everything only by experiment. You can experiment with this beggar's name, you can put this beggar's name in the test tube and experiment and see for yourself what it is. So Bhagawan challenged them, you test this beggar's name just as you would test so many things in the laboratory. Now here is a story of a man who did not know anything about Bhagwan, who did not know the glory of his name. I got this letter only some two days back. He says he is, his name is Arun from Namakal. At one point, he has been afflicted with so many problems, been without a job, there was absolutely no money at all, and he has borrowed as much as he could from friends, relatives, everyone he could think of. Finally, there came a situation when he could think of no one to borrow money from. He felt very bad. At the time, he came across a book of with the writer Shibala Kumara, where the writer has stated that by chanting the name Yogi Ram Suresh Kumar, one can achieve anything, one can get anything he wants. Now this was very curious. He thought, oh, someone like Hibala Kumar says that this has to be true, but then just by chanting this name one can get whatever one wants. Then he thought he would decide, he thought he would test it, he would put it to test and see what happens. In any way, he was in a dire situation where he needed very badly help from God. All the human help already finished. Now the only one he could turn to was God. So he started to chant this mantra, Yogi Ram Sattkuma, Yogi Ram Sattkuma. At the time he needed this 5,500 rupees very badly. So he was chanting, chanting, chanting Yogi Ram Sarat Kumar for the sake of that money, 5,500, partly in order to test, partly because of desperation. Two days passed by and nothing happened. But then, just see, because two days he was chanting the name, he could have immediately given up everything, you know. The Nama is not working, so why should I continue? Instead, it struck him that it could be that he was not very sincere about it, that he was not very intense about it, that he should intensify it. This very thought itself is grace. Many people would give up. 
if they are very shallow, they would give up after a little attempt, decide very quickly, jump to conclusions. But then you see two days of chanting and he realized that he was not doing it the way it should be done and that he should intensify it. And then again he started, undaunted. Yogi Ram Sukhmar, another two days passed. He needed money desperately. He started with the idea of testing. Now Yogi Ram Sukhmar, Nama is with him all the time. The desperation took over. And he was also curious to know how Bhagwan because he had borrowed from everybody. There was absolutely no source at all from which money could come to him. He was also curious at the same time. And then the third day, two days after, he chanted two more days, and then the next day a friend came to him. The friend said, look, I owe 5,000 rupees to so-and-so. But you see, I'm so busy. I can't travel to that place and give it to him. Will you please do this work for me? And then he gave 500 rupees, saying, you can use it to go to that place. This 500 is for you, for doing the work. And you please give this 5,000 to that friend. That friend needed it even the previous day but he could not go, so he was worried and he came all the way to hand it over to Arun to pass it on. Now the amount was 5,000 plus 500, exactly what he wanted. But then this 5,000 was to be handed over to someone else. So how could this be a fulfillment of a prayer? He was not very convinced now after chanting so much, saying, okay, the money has come. So what? In any case, he had promised, and so he went all the way to the other friend to hand over the money. Now that friend said, look, I was in desperate need of this money yesterday. Anyway, the work is now over. I don't need it anymore. But this 5,000 is mine, yes. But if you give it to me now, I'll be tempted to spend this also. Instead, you keep it with you for some time. If you want, you can even spend it and return it to me later. So he gave back this 5,000 rupees, even if it was only a debt. Now it has become his temporarily. But the other man said, if you want, you can spend it also. So now he had 5,500 in hand. Sure, the Nama has worked. Because there was absolutely no source of income, no source also for borrowing. So you see, Bhagwan in some places, in the diary of Agaram Chairam declares, even if you don't have faith in this beggar, even if you don't associate divinity with this beggar, even if you simply think that this beggar is a friend and call out his name, my father will rush help. What a concession, what grace, what compassion. So you see, this compassionate Bhagwan, the embodiment of compassion, he says, he, it doesn't matter if you don't have faith in this beggar, it doesn't matter if you don't have devotion to this beggar, it doesn't matter if you don't have concentration. 
You call out this name in desperate need. My father, by an agreement, would immediately rush help to you. He has said many times that those who enter this ashram will not go back empty-handed. Every moment you spend in the atmosphere of the ashram, you could be sure that Father's blessings are pouring on you. He would use the word pouring, and you would really feel the pour of blessings when he said it. He also added, whether people are aware of it or not, this is the truth. You may not be aware of this downpour of blessings upon you when you are in the ashram. Spend even a few minutes Anywhere in the ashram, you can be sure Bhagwan is raining blessings. And after you leave the ashram, you may not even realize when something nice happens, when so many difficult problems get solved, you might not associate it with Bhagwan's grace, but you can be sure that something good would definitely happen. So, whether you chant his name in order to test it as a challenge or you chant because you are desperate, he is there with his raised hand in benediction to say, I am here, do not fear. So let's submit our today's prayer at the lotus feet of Bhagwan. Bhagavan, we pray to you again and again because we can do nothing else. And we know that you are the cosmic control. You know, this morning uh, a devotee had come from uh, Arukkote. He was saying that at the, there was a time um, in Shivakasi, there was a lot of fight among the groups. And then this devotee arrived at Bhagwan's feet to report. And then Bhagwan said to him, Do you know this beggar is playing havoc there? This beggar is playing football in Shivakasi. And then he said, all that is good that happened, all that is bad that happens, they all happen because of this beggar. I kept on asking this devotee, did he say this beggar? Not because of father? No, ma, he said, because of this beggar. This beggar is playing football. He also used to say, this beggar can play football with the planets. And there are devotees who had witnessed it, who had the, the spiritual sensitivity, either the spiritual sensitivity, na sensitivity naturally, or Bhagwan gave them the inner eyes. They literally see Bhagwan, huge hands, like a child would play with the toys, reaching out to the planets and adjusting their positions. When there was a declaration everywhere that the nine planets would come in a line, and that meant a certain disaster to the world. So that Bhagwan, we could only pray to you again and again for your immediate divine intervention to free the entire humanity, the whole world, from the dreadful grip of these viruses, the crowd of viruses, 